Hello everyone. So as you can see, that's my iPod right here. This is a old fourth generation iPod, a 20 gig gigabyte model. This is my first iPod I ever got back in, I believe, 2005. So, you know, as you may know, like the iPod originally has a um, hard drive in there, one of those mechanical hard drives, a 1.8 inch uh, mechanical hard drive. Um, after a few years ago, actually, like I stole this away for a while because the hard drive started clicking and it wouldn't work. And there was like a sign, there was like a repair, Apple repair sign. So I just, you know, threw it in storage and threw it in a box and just left it there. So recently I took it back out and, you know, charged it back up just, you know, just to see, you know, just to check it out. And when I first clicked it, it had the sign and then I clicked it again it seems to just start it up it's kind of just started working again so it was it was just came back alive all of a sudden so I was like cool um, it's working kind of because it still clicks and some songs was kind of skip and skip through so I decided to you know check out the internet and people are updating you know these old hard drives to SSDs um, I bought this right here, the King Spec SSD. This is a 2032 gigabyte model. I'm going to replace, you know, the old hard drive with this SSD. There's other ways to do it. There's the old way where you get the board, um, well, the um, the converter board, the compact flash converter board. So where you have the board, it converts the, uh, the IDE, I believe, the IDE uh, 50 pin to compact flash and then you get a compact flash adapter and then a compact flash adapter to SD card so you have to get all three um, and then and then an SD card um, there's that route and I you know I put in I took a look at those to look at the prices and if you add it up it'd probably be around you know forty fifty dollars so you know after doing some more research I found this this is from Kingspec. This is just a SSD, 1.8 inch SSD, 32 gigabyte. Got it off Amazon. Um, and you can see the prices here, $39.99 shipped. Um, so this is 32 gigabyte SSD. So all you need is direct replacement, you know, for the, you know, without any need of adapter, it should be uh, a direct change and. And look at the comments, people have done that, you know, to the same model I have, the 4th gen iPod. So, I decided. So, let's see what's inside of this Kingspec 32 gigabyte S SSD. What's in the book? look like and it's well protected and there it goes there it goes King Spec SSD 1.8 inch here's a comparison of the size of my iPod which as you can see it's working again all of a sudden the battery charges it holds pretty good uh, I wouldn't say it holds the original 12 hours um, we're supposed to up to 12 hours I've been seeing it probably I'll say at most now is like five hours but I'm surprised after that many years it's you know it's still charging and the thing is it, it started working again <laughs> well anyways let's uh, you know pop this open and uh, you know pop this new new thing in new SSD so first thing here you want to shut it off to shut it off you would believe you would hold the menu button until it shuts off well I might be wrong that's just the uh, the light so you gotta hold menu and the middle button until it turns off. Yep, oh, there it is. This is complete. We'll just reset it. it. Uh oh. 
Yep. Somehow it has the support problem. Okay, let's try again. That that's the issue I always had, that Apple folder sign. Okay, now resetting. Oh, there it goes. It works. So it's an intermittent, intermittent problem. So you know with this new SSD, it should be good to go. So to crack it open, I have this flathead screwdriver. Um, I've cracked it open before. As you can see, if you have a nice clean one, I would suggest some plastic, uh, a different plastic tool, something that will not damage your unit. So, so on right now, let me hold this button. I think you hold this to turn it off. There it goes. I'm gonna, turn, I'm gonna put on the that hold button and slowly pry it open. There you go. Alright, you gotta be careful once you get it open. You wanna set it down like this because there's that cable. So there it is, there's the hard drive. And here is the here's the brand new SSD, the King Spec SSD. As you can see, very similar sized. So let's remove this. Let's carefully remove this. Here's the battery, it's still the original battery. And all you do is just slide that the ribbon cable. Let's double check me, make sure. Yep, and they are in the same type of connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put these, I don't know if you can fit it in there. I'm going to try to fit in this uh, noise, like a vibration uh, screen on it. Onto here, you know, see if you get as much, and also fit the foam in there so it doesn't rattle around in there. Let's see if I can remove that stuff. Looks like this back piece, back piece comes off also. It's kind of, eh, I don't think it's going to come off, but this seems to come off. This seems to come off. So there it is, this is the original drive. I'll put it in like this. We use this. That looks like the original. Sort of, with now SSD. It's a little lighter. SSD is going to be a little lighter, so you got to save some weight. Um, yeah, I don't think I could. Let me see if I can remove. No, it's going to it falls apart. I don't think I could reuse this foam. Sticky. Um, so this went like this in before. So. I want to make sure that's plugged in the right way. So it's like this, like this. Also, as you can see, there's a notch. There's a more rec rectangular shape versus the circle. So this was this way. Therefore, the sticker is on the top. And then you would. Carefully align back the, the notch into it and 
goes in just like that. And bam, I got it in. Um, I don't know if I should put some the insulation in the back. Maybe I should, since you know there's some some parts, metal parts. You don't want it might it might be conductive. You don't want it to you know, to touch on it. So let me take it back out real quick. Take it back out. Let me just find some. Okay, so I ended it up. Uh, you know, carefully peeling it off and you know sticking on here. There's still a little adhesive on it, so it's still good. Uh, one one thing is like with that rubber, when you put the side, make sure that sticking up. There's a little more tabs to it, a little more spacing. Have, make sure that one's in the back. So we're ready to put it back in. Bam! There it is. Um, my battery's still good. Um, I'll keep the original for now. So just carefully place it back in. And that's it. Just close it back. Make sure the ribbon's good. Make sure everything's good. The ribbon, nothing is loose. And that's it. And I'll just close it back. Squeeze it back together. All right, let's see what happens when I turn it on right now. Hmm, interesting. Still has this. So let me reset it. Maybe this is an old cache. Yeah, this is the old information. Shouldn't be anything in there. Let me reset it real quick. Hold these two buttons. Okay. Now it's resetting. Yep, there's no file system now. Did it reset? Yep, no file system. So there it is. So I'm going to plug into my computer. I have to buy another one of these cables because you know, I thought I would never need it again. Uh, so I threw away some of the old original cables. So I bought up this, uh, this other band. So I hope it works good. I'm going to get this adapter for USB C since it's new. All the new MacBooks are using USB C now. Alright, so I plugged in. I have iTunes on. Let's see if it picks it up. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's like welcome to your new iPod. I said continue. Uh, it says sync with iTunes. Get started. We're gonna check for updates. There's probably no updates in this thing is over ten years old. Alright, so it says restore iPod. Let's hit restore right here. And actually, I picked it up right away. SSD 31.88 gigabyte free. Alright, so let's hit restore. So, right now, you know, iPod says do not disconnect. Let's hit restore. Are you sure? Yes, let's restore. So now it says download the software. Next, click wheel. Next, agree. All right, need my password. All right, restoring SSD. That sounds good. Restoring. So hopefully, it's doing its thing. Let's set it down. screen open so it says it's restoring there's no progress bar so I'm gonna leave it this way for now okay so I had to play around with the settings I had to go to the uh, disk this utility uh, for some reason 
I tried to you know uh, erase it, but it had failed because it was it's, it normally comes in um, the SSD was originally formatted with the um, FAT32, so you know I thought yeah I had to reformat to the Apple uh, file system. But after I did that, it, it says it didn't work. So I went ahead and you know unplugged it and plugged it back in, and reran the the restore, and it looks like it's finished. You know, on the screen it says your iPod has been restored to factory settings. Please unplug your iPod and connect it to the external power supply. And on the screen it shows this. So hopefully it works. So I'm going to unplug it now. and plug it into outlet. All right, it is plugged into outlet. We see the Apple logo. Okay, it looks like there's a bar going through. Okay, restarting. And okay, it's language select English, and there it is. We are back. I don't know why the light is not working. Let's let's see the light. Maybe it's turned off. Yeah, it's turned off. Oh, there it is. It's back. It's working. Uh, well, there's no music right now, so it's ready to add music again. And that's it. Okay, so here it is. I have added some songs to it. Um, my re review with it so far with this SSD, it's a uh, it's a lot more responsive. Like when you forward the song, it just goes. I mean, instead of before with the original hard drive, you have to the hard drive will have to seek, and uh, and because it was failing, it would click and take a while until it could seek the night. Right now, it's instant almost. You go back and forward. I see forward songs. It's pretty much much more responsive it's, a, it's actually you know feels a lot lighter as well uh, the only thing it doesn't have the feeling of when you know when like at my my hands anticipating like the vibration of the the hard drive so it doesn't you know have the same feeling it's a, it's definitely a lot lighter the battery life seems to be i don't know maybe it should improve the battery life as well but uh everything seems more responsive like you could just forward songs, you don't have to wait until, you know, it's the old one, you could feel like the hard drive trying to spin up and, you know, seek for the that next track. So it's definitely quick. But yeah, there it is. iPod with SSD. Awesome. Peace.